What's up, everybody? It is fucking Thirsty Thursday. Obviously, I'm a little sussed up already. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Thanks. You can send your money to Cash App, dollar sign JR Pilardi. Anyways, uh, we want to give a quick thank you to all of our sponsors. First and foremost, Division Street Auto, located at 595 Division Street, Protect Rhode Island, 401-723-780. If you, 7080. If you want to give them a call, check out George over at Division Street, man. Whatever you need from your car, top to bottom. You got air conditioner problems, he's got you. You, got, you need something to plug your muffler, he's got you covered. Mention the J2 Podcast, he will go ahead and drop that 10% discount on the labor for you. Guess those Chinese slaves are cheap these days. Anyways, tops showroom and gallery for all your electrical and lighting needs whether it's pipe emt whether it's uh wire anything electrical conduit um they specialize in lighting so led fluorescent indoor outdoor under cabinet landscape go see my boys over at tops holla at sean tell them the j2 podcast sent you give them a call at 401-8610-695 we love them 120 point street in providence Big ups to Onlyville Tire, the lovely, lovely Dory, who will take care of your tire needs, whether it's new, used, mildly used, mildly new. That doesn't make sense, but you can give them a call at 401-421-1800, and they're at 86 Plainfield Street in Providence. Been in business over 100 years. Fuck, guys, listen to that. A small business open for almost 100 years. That's fucking wild. All right? Go check out Dory to Onlyville Tire. Last and... So, oh, not even close to last. What am I talking about? But next, if you want to look fresh to death to the... if you Listen, if you want to go out and get laid, go see my barber. Because look at your boy, okay? Look at your boy, man. I'm not great looking, but Aunt Cambio has me looking like fucking Tom Cruise every time I leave that shop. You will never be friend-zoned again if you go see my boy Aunt Cambio on Atwood Avenue in Johnson at Atomic. You can give him a call, 401-580-6651. It's my boy Aunt Cambio. Whether you need a taper, some corn rolls, some scissor cuts. What the fuck, Jay, was that? Jay, turn that shit off. All right, go see my boy Aunt Cambio. Like I said... Be friend zone no more, guys. Get the get the punani. Go see Ann. He'll hook you up. And JW and Son Construction. They specialize in kitchen, baths, interior, flooring. I'm reading some shit right now because I'm not too familiar with them, but I know they do good work. Um, siding, vinyl siding, decks, roofs. Go see JW and Constructions on Facebook. Jay, real quick, what's that number? How do we call JW and Son Construction? You can find. I know them. the number. It's four zero one. Four zero one Facebook.com. That's <laughs> Jake Minif. Be right back. Stand by for JW and Sons. But last and second to last, I lied. DDP, Donkey Dodgers Poker. I'm probably heading there tonight. They're somewhere new every night of the week. You can find them on Facebook, Donkey Dodgers Poker. But if you're just looking for a fun night out, a $20 buffet will get you free entry into a poker tournament with cash prizes and a chance to win a seat into a $10,000 buy-in tournament. How fucking dope is that for a $20 buffet? You can have a great night. Donkey Dodgers Poker on Facebook. Check them out. Obviously, our home right now, Legends Pub and Grub at 1458 Park Avenue in Cranston. They got the best fucking egg rolls you've ever had east of the Mississippi, okay? Whether you want a chicken parm egg roll, you want an Italian egg roll, you want an Irish egg roll, you want a fucking Jewish egg roll, they got egg rolls from top to bottom. Come check them out. And that phone number, by the way, guys, for JW and Sons was 401-487-4134. Call my boy John Webb. We're out, guys. We have Ashley with Ascension NXT on the episode today. Man, she's fucking interesting. This episode was a lot of fun. If you're into, like, magic, witchcraft, magic the gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, um, aliens, ET, like, all kinds of crit, her chakras, she's just got a lot of information for us and teaches us a lot of shit. And thanks for listening, guys, all right? We had a lot of fun. I hope you will, too. Time to talk some shit with the J Squared Podcast. Here we go. Um, what's up, everybody? Yo! We got Jay. We got Ashley. Thanks hey. for joining us. 
and we have Jess here for moral support. Yes. We still haven't decided. She's 50% Go Jess. committed right now. <laughs> Right now, the camera is only showing your fucking... There's no toe dipping. Come on, scoot up. <laughs> your left side only. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, Ash, <laughs> Ashley is actually... Are you the founder? Are you the owner? The owner. You, founder, you I owner, guess. Founder, yeah. host, yeah. co-host uh-huh. of Ascension NXT. Yes. And that's the name of it? Yes. Where's that at? Where, uh, Main Street. Street. West Warwick, Main Street. East Greenwich. East Greenwich. Mm-hmm. Just gives the street name, Main uh, Street. Yeah. All right. Thanks for narrowing it down. <laughs> yeah. So, one Main Street. Um, so, how... What, Tell us a little bit about Ascension NXT. So Ascension NXT actually was supposed to be a mixtape because I used to rap. And yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bro, we didn't even start. Right, start you got the whole fucking yeah. Yeah. basket flowing in. Yeah, right. so. So now we know, bro, we got content. Yeah. You G Child from like. No, my rap name was <laughs> Little V. Little yeah, and everyone just called me V. So why didn't you pursue it? What happened? So that's like a whole story in its own. Can, can we go? Let's go with Ascension first. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's okay. Go with Ascension. So sure. I was rapping, and I was, She's like, you know, I was rapping. yeah. Let's talk about that. I was doing my la- the last name of the last album I did before that was Heel Turn, and it was all over like wrestling beats, and I told like a whole story over. These wrestling beats. It's pretty dope. Wrestling beats. Yeah, because well, I'm a big... Beats, uh, right? Like, I'm a big wrestling, wrestling fan. Beat, like, you know, like, so, <laughs> they re- I had my friend oh. remix all of, like, the wrestler's entrance music that I wanted to rap over and told a story. And then I was like, fuck it. The next thing I'm going to throw out is a mixtape called Ascension NXT because I was into doing the energy healing and the card readings and the magical work and all that stuff. And what actually ended up happening was I started doing healing, my healing work, which is Reiki, it's energy work. And it just started to take off. And I was kind of like, you know what? I think I'd rather go into this than keep doing the music. And... I ended up opening my own shop. I had a business partner that didn't work out. She lasted for probably like six months, and then it just ended up being me. And yeah, business partners suck. Yeah, they do. They yeah, do. I hate business partners. <laughs> me too. <laughs> what happened with your business partner? I mean, she sucked. She sucked. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I have a friend that uh, actually does. Sucks. What is it? Reiki. That sucks. Yeah. yeah. That the, is it Reiki? Is that how Reiki. you pronounce it? Reiki. 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 Yeah. Like you're raking Shout something. Shout out, Nicole Siriano. <laughs> All right, so. I have obviously a lot of questions yeah. about what you do. I mean, is there anything psychic involved in what you do? You use yes. the word magic. I'm a psychic. You're a psychic. Yeah, so what so, psychics do is um, we read into people's energy fields and then. So we're reading what's going on in your life, in your energy field. We can go into the past, present, and then also the future of what's going on in your field. Um, We can also tap into people around you. And as a healer, which the Reiki was what really opened me up to my abilities because you mean your mind or your your what what do you mean? My energetic uh, intuitive abilities. Do you know what intuition is? Sometimes I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say Bro, words and I'm gonna th- so yeah dumb. like I'm gonna say words and then I'm gonna be like oh I think they know that so if you don't know that say I don't know what that is well, no I, I just want I, I want he knows for our Michael viewers Cosby. yeah for our viewers you know why are you always blaming the viewers <laughs> no for, just say you don't understand I, for our viewers mm-hmm. some may not understand okay may not understand, right so that's why oh, I my seven answer, right including myself so intuition is just like your. <laughs> It's like your sixth sense. It's just like no. It's just a knowing or feeling or clairvoyant, like a seeing things that aren't there. Yes, exactly. Right. right, So Um, like your aura. Yeah, all of that stuff is intuitive work. Yes. So when I knew that was going to happen, see that I'm already. uh, <laughs> See, you have yeah, right? There you go. <laughs> All right, so hey, so just since you guys hear the background noise, once again, shout out to Legends Pub and Grub for letting us host here. <laughs> it's uh best thing. You guys like egg rolls? They got fucking egg rolls. Egg rolls here. I like egg rolls. All right, so you discovered, like, you, when you say discovered your ability, what, what happened? What made you. Was there? A, it, Do you really want to know the moment? full Wait, story you, you about this? Everything. Shit. Okay. When, hold on. I'm sorry. When you say I discovered my psychic abilities, yes. I'm an idiot. I'm thinking like, oh shit! You're sitting there and you realize you could bend a fork with your mind. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. So That's I haven't got there yet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, there's so many things. To, yeah. There's so my, many. Yeah. In my like yeah. ignorant. Uh, understanding of it I think it's all one in one ball but there's probably so many everyone thinks that like people come in the shop and ask a million and one questions 
and they think we're going to answer it. You walk in, they're like, hey, can you teleport? You're like, what? They ask us yeah. questions about everything. That's the, <laughs> that's what people don't get. That's why I'm moving more into coaching and teaching because I'm so sick of telling everybody what to do. And I think that people need to do a lot on their own. And I really believe that everyone is psychic, intuitive, empathic, is a healer on their own level. I believe that everyone has the abilities that I have. And the whole thing with Ascension NXT and Ashley V is pulling that out of you and allowing you to find that within yourself so you don't need to come to somebody like me all the time. Let me ask you, this mm-hmm. is a, maybe on a, your business? a personal level. Um, are you are you spiritual? Yes. Or, yeah. You believe in, in a God? I believe in God. Honestly, I don't know yeah. what that God is. Right. Or who that God is. And the reason I don't I, believe the religious version of God. I do like believe right, right. I do believe that there is a higher source or form of energy that is more intelligent than us and has access to all of our lifetimes and our souls records and things like that. Because those those things, those uh, powers or talents or whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it, skills, mm-hmm. gifts uh, that you claim to have mm-hmm. scripture also mentions those things mm-hmm. um you know saying you know if, if you wanted this mountain to crumble you know if you had faith you could tell it to and it would right you know uh healing right healing people on you know by whatever mm-hmm. um so i mean there's a, a a huge parallel i guess between what you're saying and what scripture mm-hmm. uh, also claims so i just wondering if, you, if that's where your foundation was. So um, I grew up Catholic. Right. But right. I never... I sorry for real. you. Yeah. Real. I grew up Italian, <laughs> Catholic. Don't never... So yourself. Yeah. <laughs> never... I, like, tried to read the Bible. No offense to all you the know. Catholics out there. Yeah, I mean... Uh, no, I, I mean, I work with the Christ consciousness energy, and I work with Mother Mary all the time. So that's what people get confused, because they're like, oh, you're a witch and a psychic, and you work with Christ and Mother Mary? And I'm like, yes. So it's uh, that kind of confuses people, too. I believe in the spirit. I believe that when we die, we transform and transition into our higher beings and our higher selves and we go into another dimension. That's exactly what's you know, it's 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 strange and interesting that you say that because that's Mm -hmm. exactly what scripture says. Right. By the way. Um, And, you know, I always I always put it this way. This is just my personal train of thought that. Like my lifetime is eight. Let's say the the average is eighty years. Mm -hmm. Whether I live that long or not, that's a whole different conversation. But my eighty years is only a snippet. It's like watching uh, a piece of a movie, Mm -hmm. like right in the middle of it. To you know, eighty years or let's say thirty minutes of the movie, and then I don't. I've never saw what happened before me, and I'll never see what happened after. After you know what I'm saying. So that's interesting that you say that. Mm-hmm. Um, do you ever get a lot of... I'm, I'm, well, I'm sure you get a lot of... What do you say to the people that are like, you're fucking crazy? Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> yeah? I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm like... Oh, dude, I grew up being a wrestling fan, a pro wrestling there's fan. There's enough people, too, where not everybody has to... You know, like buy in and believe and. and I don't give a shit. Like, I'm not here to prove anything to anybody. There's so many people that come to me and need help that it it completely outweighs the people. Yeah. You believe that you have helped people. Oh, fuck yes. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, I, people tell me all the time that how much I've helped them and sending me emails, sending me messages, like, all, like, just. In what way? Please explain. Um, that I've just. I've helped them open up to their abilities. I think the the best th- the thing that I'm most best at is um, helping people feel empowered. You know, I'm gonna be honest. You got tough that. competition. Our last episode, the fucking guest that we had is a uh, you know a CEO of this company, mm-hmm. super inspiring, motivational mm-hmm. speaker. Had me walking out here ready to fucking take over the world. Mm-hmm. Well, so I, you, oh, go ahead. You <laughs> mentioned that um, you. You kind of can read vibes and, mm-hmm. and your intuition, and you can tell us about. Let's read Josh's vibe. <laughs> First of all, you gonna pay her? This is how she makes her living. 
No, but I mean, is that something that you like? How, how does that work? So I don't to, like, like sorry, initially when I meet somebody, I don't just yeah. channel into the energy. I actually think that that is immoral in a psychic sense. Oh, it's, it's like X-ray vision. Yeah, it's no, not. It's like sure. like I tell people when I teach them, do not ever read anyone without their permission. That is like going through their purse or their wallet. It's invasive oh, and it's oh, disrespectful. Invasive. Now, sometimes when you have this ability, and especially when you begin to start waking up to your so ability, you have integrity. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to know what's going on in your life unless you want me to know. You know, like, and and also too the other like. So we go to the opposite end of it. Um, people will be like, when they walk in the shop, they'll be like, "Can you read my palm?" Or what do you see around me? And I just say, "You have to book an appointment." I do not just read into people's energy because also too when I start doing that I have to connect with your energy and I have to open up to your field and then that's opening up my field and that's using my energy and I'm not doing that um, for free so it's my work what would you say to somebody that would be like well of course I mean it's easy to view this Mm -hmm. um, from a perspective, and I'm sure this is nothing new to you mm-hmm. as far as skeptic critiquing You're right. is concerned. Yeah, absolutely. Skeptically, mm-hmm. um, you know, and say, well, of course you're never going to do that because yeah. this is all a scam and it's right. about money. And- Nobody's ever really said that to me. Nobody's ever come in the shop and said that to me. Well, obviously, nobody yeah. going into, nobody's yeah. ever going to go into a, a right. shop and say, hey, you know what? You're full of shit. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, I, I would venture to say, and I'm just... Mm. Um, Assuming to some degree. Well, no, no, no. Forget what I think personally. Mm. I'm just saying. Well, I, I, would, I, would th- I would think that the majority of people that don't know or mm. are ignorant about what you do and what, you know, uh, you know your talent or, mm-hmm. or gift is a scam. Because... Mm. I just what don't... Do you say to, what do you say to people that are I don't... That are I just... I, I don't say anything to them. I don't have she to prove really myself to them. Says, That's well, it. Well, there's another yeah. aspect, too, is that sure. uh, setting an energetic boundary yeah. and not allowing that energy to enter the space. Mm. That's also another thing. So you don't Explain that, that, please. Break that down for so, us stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> so I work for her at the store. So I'm right. there on Saturdays and I deal with a lot of people coming in. Read my palm. Can hey, I, would, you know, uh, that happens. Before you continue, let me inter- can you Can you scoot up a little and just... Uh, I, yeah, we're well, getting you in here. There you go. Yeah, hey. you're in, whether you want. Now you're like seventy five percent committed. <laughs> so a good point of that is setting boundaries. So yes. energetically, you're not going to want somebody who's intrusive to invade your space, right? How how do you know that? How do you... What do you mean? I mean, you can, you can kind of feel when, so, so, like when so, somebody is just. So when you start oh, the day and you open a space like that, it's a sacred space. So what you do is you prepare, you get ready, you, you know. You set you, the intentions. The intentions, like. Of like, who you want to come in. You don't want that confrontation or the naysayers to walk through the door. You're open and you're willing to the people who are Does accepting. it work? I mean, oh, yeah. most, that's, that's, that's a, that's a most, huge. Most, most of the time it works. Still lingering. And you can tell the people, like, like, honestly, we get a lot of, we get mostly women that come yeah. in. And then their boyfriends sometimes will just stand outside. And yeah, we're like. that has a lot to do with yeah. Men's pride and maybe yeah. feeling a little. Like I think I think it's yeah. also too that when you walk into the space, you feel a sense of vulnerability. Like yeah. people begin it's to open not a up. Natural, um, no, it's you know, male tree. It's Boy, not yeah, like walking into is, Target. Yeah. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Well, You're, what is it like? <laughs> to tell us exactly. So a I lot of people Target, literally. Like, when tell they, us what it is like. Okay. When you so walk when you shop. walk into Ascension Next, most of the time, I will say that people will do a big sigh and they'll be like, Ah, oh, it feels so good in here. Really? It feels so calming in here. It feels so loving in here. Do you use essential oils? No, I mean I do, but I'm not like a big like essential but then, oil person. Then there'll be some people that. Aren't, right? <laughs> so so no, stupid. that's a good question. It's a great yeah. question, right? Don't fucking encourage it. Shut not up! What? Shut up! That's a great question. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Put the diffusers on. Yeah, I mean I like so that's the I thing love wild is like. Orange. <laughs> honestly. I, no, I pull in my spirit guides and my archangels, and that's what people feel. What does that, that mean? What do you, what do you, when you say stuff like that, I, I know, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, again, I'm curious too. Now. You got to break it down Barney style for us, okay. like so fucking like mortals. A, a guardian angel type of mm. thing, but more specific. And yeah. When you crack that egg open. So when you say angel, now you're talking about, again, you're talking about something religious and scripture. No, it's not and, religious. Right? It's not 
that's Isn't that where angels come from? No, they come. That's, that's, that's like a layman's term for it, I guess you could say. Too. More like, a, like an understand. spiritual like energy, you could say. Energy energy yeah. Protecting you. Could say. Mm-hmm. I understand that. So like like the aspect of a guardian angel. Right. A spirit guide is here through your whole life to help you move forward. Right. Mm. When you crack that like egg a open, Cricket. open up to it. You, you could almost call that like your conscience. Right? In a sense, yes. Yeah. You can do that. Like yeah, it. like Jiminy Cricket, bro. So it's a- but it's a good analogy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, yeah, like somebody analogy. there like helping you make the right decisions, the wrong yeah. decisions, what you yeah. shouldn't, shouldn't do. And it sounds like what you said earlier, it, it's, it's sticking with me. You said that everybody has the abilities and the mm-hmm. power to do what you do. So when I hear that, I think about the countless um, like podcasts that I've listened to or shit that I've read. And it talks about how strong our brain is, you know, and just understanding what your capabilities are. You know, I feel a lot like I when somebody has just a weird vibe, I don't want that around me. Exactly. You know, so it's probably not as in depth of an understanding as you have, but I can I don't know, we're pretty close. I got a weird vibe. I can I can get when somebody's just like around me that's where I don't want them to be there and sometimes I can't explain it, but I'm just like, mm, this doesn't seem like the person that I want in my life or in my space right, right now. I don't know if that's the same thing. Oh yeah. Or if I'm just And then and then when you begin to spiritually awaken, you are kind of you you set a lot of different energetic boundaries with everyone in your life, like your family, um, friends. friends. There's Everybody. certain there's certain friends that you're not going to like want to be around as much because their energy is just like for instance, you don't want to be around the people all the t- like when you're so we talk about high vibration, I'm which is right now. What does that mean? Again, high like, vibe. I, I know it's you're like when you were talking your jargon, when but. you were talking to the coach the CEO guy, he inspired you. That's yeah. high vibrational energy. That's energy that makes you feel good. It's energy that pumps energy. you up. It's yes. Yeah. It's energy that opens up your perspective. Like so when you begin to spiritually awaken, you begin to connect with these energies. And then you begin to see the energies around you that are more low vibrational. And those are the people in your life that are like that suck. That they, they're constantly <laughs> yes. complaining about George, everything. You suck, man. I can tell. Can't Everybody like I would say George is like a medium vibration guy. He kind of like, if it sucks, he'll tell you. But if it's yeah. good, he'll get pumped. Like, we planned this barbecue a couple weeks ago, and he was fucking lit. He was like, let's do it. Like, so he was the high vibe. He was fucking high vibe in my balls that day. It was super high vibe. I had, wow. Uh, yeah, I wanted to, something what you just said, like the, the high vibe. And mm-hmm. the, then you have people that just suck your energy mm-hmm. and negative. We call those energy vampires. Do you... Th- I read something. <laughs> he just stopped. <laughs> He's like, I know a lot of those. <laughs> I do know some of them. I, I read something. And it Is that like popping your bubble? Like, yeah, bro, I wasn't talking to you. You're good. All right. I read, so it's like, bu- <laughs> Go ahead. I read something the other day, and it, it seemed silly at first, but uh, it was something along the lines of, when you get, you hear that phrase, oh, but he's family. Oh, but she's mm. your, you know, your cousin, your mother. Mm-hmm. What I read was like, Fuck it was a girl posting it, mm-hmm. you know, and it said, it doesn't matter who they are. Like, um, somebody doesn't have a past to like drain the life out of you. Exactly. And constantly like make you miserable mm-hmm. just because you share the same DNA. Or right. Whatever. So I'm going to say something that's a good example of not setting energetic boundaries mm. by saying, but it's them. Right. You're allowing them into your yeah, energy. Yeah, like if your cousin's a cunt, your cousin's a cunt. Right. It is. I would never you say mom because mm. that was beautiful. It doesn't mean that you have to hate them and hold judgment towards them. It just means that you put up boundaries with them and what you allow in your life. So um, with my mother, she's not very open to what I do. She understands what I do. And I think that she likes it more now that I'm su- uh, successful with yeah. it. You know like, what I mean? What you're doing is yeah. bullshit. Oh, you're paying your rent? She you doesn't think it's you? bullshit. She like, just, she can't comprehend it. She just can't grasp grasp what I do. And I've reikied her before and she's been like, oh, that I feel what better. What is Reiki? Okay, so Reiki is a form of energetic healing. Um, it's one of the most popular forms of healing. With um, rocks, right? Or something? No, you actually do it with your own energy field. Oh. Like you literally, like I could sit here like this and Reiki Jess. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's uh, you're tapping into a vibrational frequency and (laughs) you're pulling the energy in. You look skeptical. I know. Just saying you have a very skeptical face right now. Yeah. No, I'm I'm trying to to understand. So when I try to explain. (laughs) Where was I? I look like Fred Flintstone. You do and I never realized that until just now. The second you said Fred though, I looked at you and saw Fred Flintstone. 
<laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? Uh, we're, we're, we were talking about Reiki. She said she reads your energy as Fred Flintstone and we said you what's have next? to break it down for us. Oh, like, Jesus. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. What the it fuck? Hey, you're going to fuck our shit up. Disregard, over there. disregard. Continue. The Reiki energy. So, um... I don't worry about it. In layman's terms, what Reiki does is it clears out your energy field. It clears out. It clears your out your energetic fields. Good, bad, whatever. It's it's okay. So what happens with a lot of people? So if I say to you, "Hey, uh, Ashley, Reiki me," or, yeah, is that is that the way you say it, or is, yeah, 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 like and, I need and, a Reiki. And, okay, what would you do? You would. So you would you would book an appointment, right? But I don't I don't even do Reiki anymore. I stopped doing that. Uh, <laughs> I I stopped doing it a few months ago. I'm, that's why I'm moving more into why? Why, why did you stop? Because her vibrations raise it. It's going higher. Yeah. So I, with the Reiki, it's literally like oh, I'm yeah, assisting yeah. people with helping them clear out their energy <laughs> field. That usually with people that get a Reiki, they're coming in and they're like, oh, I'm not feeling good. I'm really stressed. Um, I'm confused. I don't know where I'm going on my path right now. Right. So, so they'll come in and I'll sit down and I'll talk to them. And, you know, usually we'll try to like focus on like one thing. Like, let's just say I'm really stressed out. So what I'll do is I'll go in their energy field and I'll just clear out the debris in their field we carry a lot of energetic debris in our field okay. we carry a lot of other people's emotions is that like negativity or yes is, is that what you're saying it can be negativity but it can also can it be positive it can it can be like just too much going on at once all right you know like, so what you do does that okay i, I i'm I know. I'm not trying to be. I know. You know. No, I get it. I get it. I, I'm just trying to understand. I'll tell you what happens a lot when sure. people ask me about Reiki. I sure. say just book an appointment and okay. get on the table because it's hard to explain because people can't even grasp the concept that I can it, literally stand in front of you yeah. and help you clear out your energy field with you just laying in front of me on the table. It sounds ridiculous. Well. <laughs> I wouldn't say ridiculous. Yeah. I, I think it, it sounds um, kind of hocus pocus right. kind of whatever. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, and I'm thinking in, in let's say I'm stressed out. I'm yeah. stressed out over X, Y, mm-hmm. and Z, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm-hmm. All these things, whatever. I go to you. You do this Reiki thing. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Those things still exist, though. Those things that are stressing, my stressors okay, yes. still exist. They okay? still exist, but you can deal with them in a different manner because your energy is more clear. Is it clear. A perspective? Is it, is it teaching a lot of A lot of times it is perspective, and a lot of times it is just literally like, do you, okay, I'm going to ask you this. Do you sure. guys take showers? No. Uh, never. Okay. A what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say yes, that you do. Do you wash your clothes? Oh, that's not what it is. Oh, <laughs> Wait, you watch out Just hey, say you guys. You're getting, guys. More, you're getting more weird by the second. Okay. Wash clothes, yeah, take showers. Yeah. It's, it's like, like it's getting a Reiki done is like a um, energetic shower. Right. That's all it is. Well, I, okay. It's a clearing. Easy, easy to say. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. From from your perspective, mm-hmm. from my perspective. Yeah. You, you have to explain that. You have to. Right. Okay. Energetic shower. Mm. What the hell does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any trouble with the energetic part? Well, most people don't well, come looking for her help that are like, you, you, when you, yeah. you sound okay. skeptical. When, most, when yeah, I, yeah. I don't work with you, skeptics. You I work with people that understand. Like they, there's some people where they're like, most of the people that come in are like uh, sometimes are on the fence they're like I understand it makes sense but I still don't get how it can work I don't work with a lot of people that are like prove it to me I don't understand how this works I'm super skeptical on this I, like I, I, I would never I would never obviously go into your shop yeah and, hey you know you, prove yourself you know, right I would never do that obviously mm-hmm. prove yourself but, I mean I we're on a podcast we're talking yeah I, and I'm I'm speaking for let's say the again the viewership that yeah we're, Look and hear this podcast mm-hmm. and, and be like, you know what? What the fuck? What I know. Well, you know what I say what to most people about? when they're like not understanding what I'm saying. I'm, I tell. I'm them, not trying to. I'm not trying to say no, sell I, yourself. I'm right. trying to say, I guess, 
break it down to a point where the average person. All right, let me try to like, let me try to do this. Let me uh, try to. Do you know what? So, <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in first grade. I know. Grade. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want you wanted to say something. Right? Yeah. Yes, you you have a question. Go ahead. The bracelets on your wrist. I know oh, you are wearing shit. crystals wearing on your arm. Oh shit. <laughs> So that's because <laughs> of skepticism. Yes. Get them. <laughs> How do you feel? Are they just decoration for you? Do you use them for a purpose? No, this actually uh, cleanses my spirituality. In. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what they are? Because from here, that looks like tiger's eye to me. Uh, it is tiger's eye. Yeah. You fucking fraud. And yeah. The other one is tiger's eye as well, or is that? It looks a like a jasper. It's tiger's rectum. It's the, yes, like that is. <laughs> that is tiger's rectum. Smells like tiger's starfish. They look like they need to be cleaned energetically. Just saying. What does that mean? Okay, but I'm I, I, I asking you a question. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Yo, so Jess, no, don't honestly, take shit. <laughs> that's the problem. Oh, he comes and tries to take over like he's the. No, host. I don't. I try to understand. I'm trying to understand. You're trying to understand. You're over here like, so, oh, for our viewers, I think again. you're full of shit. <laughs> Tell me why aren't you? <laughs> yes. All right. No. Uh, th- these were actually gifts, so I, I don't. I don't. There's no. Um, like, so you're wearing them because they were a gift, or are you wearing yes. them because you believe in the aspect of them? I don't have any Jess, I love of them. belief in tiger's eye stuff. You don't so believe you're just tiger's making the eyes? gift or <laughs> But the person ga- that gave them to you believes in them, right? So it helped you... Uh, I don't know, to tell you the truth. Did but I mean, what, is, there, is, 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 there, is there a significance other than the fact that it's a gift and I'm wearing them? Because well, it sounds like there all is. All crystals have significance. They all vibrate. These are crystals? I didn't even know that. I, I'm so yeah. like, you're educating me. I, I, I thought yeah. they were beads. Yeah, I yeah. just thought they were beads too. I was about to stick them in my ass. Well, that's for a different show. <laughs> that's a whole yeah. different bead. Apparently, you've never watched the show. <laughs> Guys, it's that time, all right? Jay, get up. <laughs> no. Um, so there's, a, there's, there's obviously a, a, a different significance. Uh, then hey, it's just like, would you stop touching me, bro? Like, what are you? <laughs> you said they were crystals and they're vibrating. Now I'm looking at. I'm in, I've, well, I'm all in. crystals have a vibrational energy, just as. When, as when you say crystals, I'm thinking of like something that looks like glass. Swarovski crystals can look like a dirty ass rock that you just dug out of the ground. Hey, crystal. Okay, just kidding. It's and not like. Have to be Swarovski. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a diamond. No. I'm stupid, so please don't like. I mean, I, I'm, I'm ignorant of this whole thing, so I'm Amber, just. Amber, Amber is a crystal. <laughs> she's like, no, you know, I'm, I'm the mosquito good. in Jurassic Park that got trapped in the, the oh, sap. That's a crystal. Fucking, how sick is oh, that, dude? Because it crystallized. Exactly. Is that? But there is a lot of healing properties in crystals, and you're wearing them. So, oh. for Mr. Skepticism. Well, no, I just I, had I, to point it out. I was curious. Thank you, Jess. I. I, no, I, bro, I really don't cower. I'm not cowering. <laughs> I, I really want to take the approach and the in the perspective again from from the people that are let's say that watch I this understand. that that you know so you know it, it doesn't necessarily matter what I believe in per se. Do you believe in energy? Do you believe you have an energy field? Do I believe in energy? Of course I believe. Do in you energy. believe that you have an energy field? Um, I don't even know what that means. That's what, I guess that's what so I'm trying to get down to. I have a question. Energy. Yeah. So, so quick, let me yeah. let me get this out. For the rest of this podcast, for the sake of keeping it real and keeping it genuine, I want to stop speaking on behalf of the audience and the hypothetical listeners because I want to know. I personally want. Yeah, because to we can go into it. way more yeah. if we're. I'm not and like. I want you to be honest and tell you know tell us and her tell them yeah. how you feel and whether or not you believe or you're skeptical. I feel like that's the best way for us mm-hmm. to understand it, not just. Play devil's advocate. Yeah, because I can get into way more information if I'm not trying to break down what Reiki is that I don't even do anymore. (laughs) You know what I mean? So, (laughs) So. like, with me, I don't want to say that I'm on the fence. Mm -hmm. Is it is it weird if I say that I believe that you believe what you're doing? To me, I'm a bit skeptical because I've never experienced that. I've never had somebody come and read my energy. I think that right. skepticism I, is healthy because see, it, sh- not a skept- Cause, cause I, cause I, it I shows that you think it off completely. No. I would, yeah. I, say that I think that it's right good now. when people question what I do because That's what I'm trying to yeah. do, understand it. Like, right. But you're okay. like, you want to know. You're a dick. No, no, no. <laughs> you're kind of a piece of shit and you want me to. So, okay. You so if you came in my shop and you kept asking me questions about Reiki, you know what I would say? Google it and then book an appointment. Damn, or we can do a yeah. Or 
car. Damn, son. Yeah. But, I mean, well, isn't that kind of a cop-out? Shouldn't you be able to? No. You're the one performing it. Shouldn't no. you be able to explain no. it? No. Why do I have to explain everything? Well, because, uh, okay, here's what I'm saying. Why do I have to explain everything when I have people coming in that already know what I'm it is? and you they you have to prove yourself. Right. I'm saying. His vibrations <laughs> raising. He needs to move. <laughs> I, I'm, what I'm saying is that, so, like, I, you know what? I'm the host of a podcast. Yeah. If somebody asked me, what is a podcast? I'd be like, well, it's X, Y, and Z because yeah. I do it. I know exactly yeah, what it is. Yeah, but what a podcast is is something that is physical. So people... But there are a lot of things that are intangible. Reiki, Reiki is not a tangible thing. It's either you believe yes. in it or you don't. Okay, uh, honesty is not a tangible thing, but I could explain it. But they, they, you guys did explain. I think uh, yeah, I, I tried to explain it the way that I know how to explain no, 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 it. It's no, a they, form I, of energy you, healing. You totally you know? did. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I don't know how to prove to you that your energy field is something real to you. That's either your truth or, you know, this is my truth from what I've seen working with people. So with, with Reiki, I, I'll, I'll tell you my story with Reiki sure. and maybe you can relate to it. So my friend Lenan, who's fucking crazy and weird and all those fun things. She, yeah. yeah. She was like, I'm I, like, and this is before I was like really into all this stuff. Like I didn't yeah. know. Um, I, I started studying tarot first because tarot is more, um, you can read the Tarot's books. Like more, more people are familiar with like Exactly, the yes. It's been around hey. since hey. You're on Facebook like the 1400s page. or something like that. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty well known. Reiki is more of a new thing. It's been around for a while, but not as long as that. So she goes, <clears throat> I, I, I just started doing this thing called Reiki. And I'm like, oh, what's that? And she goes, well, um, I can literally heal you with my energy field and I go Lynn that doesn't make any sense <laughs> and this was, was conversations with her for like two years she had to convince like not convince me but she would talk to me about Reiki and I'm like yeah that's stupid it doesn't make any sense you know what I mean and uh, my whole life I believed in conspiracy theories and ETs I've had paranormal experiences my whole my whole life but Reiki that just didn't make any fucking sense I'm like I don't understand how this is gonna work and then right. one day I was finally like you know what just fucking Reiki me let's do it and that's that and that's when I had one of the most craziest spiritual experiences ever. I literally uh, did it happen on the spot. She it happened, happened while she was raking me. I literally went into a deep meditation. Um, I traveled to another dimension, but at that time I was like, okay, I just went into a meditation. I didn't understand the dimensional aspect of it, but now it's I like, do because this is what happens. You go and you learn more. You learn. You go deeper into this. So um, that's why a part of learning is experience. Experience. See, we didn't, yeah. we didn't can that prepare for this? We should have just gave Jay a bunch of some LSD or something. <laughs> mushrooms well, or, it's so funny that you just said that because when you described that to me, or when you described that to yeah. us, my first thought is like, damn, that just sounds like the best like drug. Trip. It, felt it felt like, like I was on like a drug. Shrooms, I've done like shrooms and acid, and that's yeah. it. Kind of, it felt more like shrooms. I would say. Um, so I went into this deep meditation and then everything turned white. And then I seen all these people, all different people. So, can I interrupt real quick? Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, when you say everything turned white, are, mm -hmm. are you, what are you doing? KKK inside rally. of my mind. So like your eyes inside, are closed? My or? eyes are closed in okay, my yeah, third eye. That's what yes. I want to know. Right. Um, everything turned white. And then I saw these people appear in front of me in all white robes. And one of them came for forward Sounds like a KKK and rally, bro. he had this long blonde hair and he had almost like a galactic kind of suit on and he goes welcome home and i was like who the fuck so are wait, you this happened in in the reiki in the reiki yes somebody else's business et cetera, et cetera. she actually so did it at my house <laughs> oh okay i'm sorry so when somebody's doing reiki on you are yeah. you lying down with your eyes closed is that what? Uh, yes. Give, give us the atmosphere. You're lying, what? like you're lying on a massage table on okay, your back. Okay, right. Gotcha. Yep. So is um, this, this taking? Do you, do you believe that it's taking place in your mind, or that your conscious is actually traveling somewhere else, both. experiencing this? Both. I feel like it's both. Oh, that sounds so fucking dope. So I can't believe listen, that this, can happen this doesn't without. happen do you do to DMT? most. No, I've never done DMT. Um, this doesn't happen to like to everyone when they get their first Reiki. It right. happened to me. But I'll tell you right now, yeah. I was abducted by aliens when I was a kid. Like this is how. Yeah, see, here we go. <laughs> so, 
I don't think you're crazy. Yeah. I, I, I really it's don't. It's okay I if wanna, you do. I'm no, not going to like take offense to it. And I want, <laughs> don't, don't, don't give me that look. You, they're whispering like, bro, this is weird. It, it's very... It's. I don't think you guys were prepared for me. <laughs> no, listen, I was prepared. <laughs> I, I want to process that. And I want to yes. touch base on that. But what, what were you just talking about? Getting Keep ranked. drinking. You're going to need it. <laughs> um, what you were just talking about, you know, the, the entire process of, of being reiki and kind yep. of traveling to another dimension. Mm. Are there ever any people that that you you're, you won't do that to based on their energy or are there people that come out of that having a very, very, you know, like a negative experience? No, I've never had anybody that I've reiki had a, neg- a How negative the experience. How fuck do I get reiki then? Can we book an appointment for me, me right now? Because whatever you... I will Reiki you because it's you, but I don't do Reiki anymore with people. Oh, you don't? No. no, I don't want you to do anything. No, no, no. If you really want to come and experience. I'm a whole different level. (laughs) Oh, she's like, she'll Reiki the shit out of you. Jess works more with um, the Norse energy. The Viking. <laughs> think of Thor and... I think and I'm like, when you say right. Norse, I'm thinking of like mythology. Yes, yes. Yeah, she works with Odin, Thor, Tyr, the Norse gods. Loki? Yes. Yeah. Loki. Yeah, I'm going to fucking yeah. blow this yeah. mic off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. kidding. You know, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just Because I watch the show, so I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The show Vikings is so good. Terms that I learned in the show. What is a Reiki? How much does a Reiki session cost? Um, It was 85 with me. For an hour, $85? yeah. For oh, for an hour, it's totally worth it. Oh, okay. bro, right. you've paid how do you, you, how you you've paid, paid more for less. So I tell you that right now. Matter. Yeah, but they licked my asshole. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> and I'm totally. <laughs> that was a weird proposal right there. <laughs> I'm totally lying like, I'll anyway. Take, I'll take I'm the joking. Reiki asshole. I never, I never paid anybody to lick my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> do you guys have any combos? I'll take that. No, that's that's. Hey, cheddar and pretzel. Um, we're joking about it, but that that sounds pretty lit. Like I like, I tried one time to learn how to like do to lucid an dreaming asshole. and shit like mm-hmm. that. No, I know how to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, Saskia girl. No, I'm kidding. I have a girl. Why did I say that? Um, but I, like, so shout I tried. Shout out to that, Sasha. And your asshole. Stop lick. shouting her out, bro. I don't like when you do that. <laughs> my buddy said to me, "Hey, my buddy said to me, he's like, yo, happy birthday, bro. Hope you get your asshole licked.' I was like, interesting. <laughs> um, Jesus. But no, I, I, I've tried like lucid dreaming because I felt mm-hmm. there there have been a couple of dreams or a couple of times in my life where something that I deal with very often is like sleep paralysis so mm-hmm. I know that I'm asleep I know that I'm dreaming yep. but I can't control yeah I can't control you know the dream itself in yep. my body and then I would wake up and I would get scared and is I, he talking about? I know exactly we, what he's talking about, about before, yeah actually. Sure. dude you I and Beth have right, hold on no no don't let's hold on, on. Hold on. Bitch, Let, bitch, bitch you let, hold on let's go back to why don't you like me shouting out Sasha? Not about licking assholes. I just <laughs> I don't want somebody to search like, oh, let's lick assholes and have my girl's name come up. Like, what? So, no, but Jeez. anyway, all right. So I, I deal with that. No. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, um, so that's I've dealt with that for a while, and it was very scary at first. Mm-hmm. But now I, I'm not super in control of it, but mm-hmm. I can wake myself up when it happens. So Good. I'm, I'm yeah. not afraid of it anymore. It yeah. happens. Mm-hmm. And it is what it is. But so course, if you're having sleep paralysis, you need to tell your higher self before you go to bed that it... Who's our higher self? <laughs> Hold on. I want to hear what you have to say. Because I have a very good way to combat yeah. it, and I want to know if it's different or... Um, you ask your higher self to gently put you back into your body. So what happens is when you do lucid dreaming, you are actually... Your spirit is leaving your body, and you're traveling into different dimensions are or parallel universe. Pa- uh, sleep paralysis and lucid dreaming are two different things, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yes, I think so, too. Yeah. Absolutely. Because you're... Uh, all right. So I was talking about sleep paralysis. Were you telling me how to get... Stop having like, that, or... That means you're, like... Having- oh, I thought that you were having sleep paralysis when you were doing the lucid dreaming. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I, once I figured out sleep paralysis and I started to yep. realize, hey... That's what it is. Yeah. So if you don't know what sleep paralysis is... Mm-hmm. It's fucked up thing. Oh, no, I know what sleep paralysis is. Yeah. I'm talking about Oh, okay. okay. (laughs) No, what it is is like you're asleep and you're dreaming and you're in your actual state. So when Mm -hmm. I'm experiencing this, I wake up, I look around, I'm in my bedroom, but I just can't move. Like my body won't Mm -hmm. move and I know that I'm asleep. I know I'm in my bed, but something bad is about to happen to me and I can't move. It's because it's a scary situation. Right. It's not so much something bad will happen. It's just scary not being able to move. Yeah. So now, but what I've trained myself to do is I can wake up, and eventually I'm just like, all right, I'm awake, no big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But all I do is like really force myself to like move a finger or something. Yeah. Eventually, yeah, I wake up. yeah, yeah. Um, and if I once I wake up, if I want to not experience that again, what were you saying? Like, are you gonna just tell you, like so before you go to bed at night? If it keeps happening a lot, you're just gonna tell it's your for years, okay, times a week. You gonna tell your higher self to just gently put you back in your body before you wake up. So that the higher sounds, self is your. Hold on, what's that? <laughs> just listen. Don't wait to respond. <laughs> just listen and learn. Shh. You need right. to take some fucking classes. Yeah. Oh, what kind of classes? All the classes, classes that I have. <laughs> like fucking like yoga, lot of spinning. <laughs> All right, so knitting. <laughs> I, I only, I don't disagree with you because that's mm. probably one way to get out of it. Yep. But when I'm experiencing that. The only thing that I have to do to not experience it again is like roll over on my side. Okay, then that's how, that's yeah, your way of yeah. Thing. That's it your way of doing it. To me, if I'm laying on my back, yeah. like looking at the ceiling, yeah. And sometimes I'm just so like, damn, I'm so comfortable. I'm just gonna deal with it mm-hmm. again, and I'll wake up in 20 minutes. But the reason I I, I brought that up is mm-hmm. because the second I realized that my brain would know that I'm dreaming, I started to think like, yo, like these are like endless possibilities, dude. Because mm-hmm. now. It, Bro, can, have you ever lucid so dreamed I, or had experienced that? I have a good thing that? for him to understand this a little better. Bro, well, they can example. tell by just your facial expressions that you need to be educated. Because <laughs> I'm listening to you, and you're well, like, right. oh, fuck it. Jay, Jay's trying to understand what they do in general. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, we, like, yeah, remember, we had a vegan on our show one like, time explaining I'm veganism. A, three hours in, he's like... So why don't we eat animals? Come on, it wasn't it wasn't three hours. <laughs> George, it's hour and a half. So why don't we eat animals again? <laughs> well, no, listen, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful in any oh, sense yeah. of the word. Mm-hmm. I don't, weird. you know. Yeah, no, I, I get don't it. judge. I don't. Hey, yeah, whatever you guys do, that's what you guys do. I'm trying to really like trying to. I'm trying to understand. Yeah. Jay, so Jay's the, subject, the guy. Jay's the guy standing outside. Well, it's not oh, that I'm I know, a skeptic. I know. I'm just, <laughs> you, I'm just <laughs> in out of your shop, mad. <laughs> no, no. Listen, listen. I, I'm not a skeptic. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just really ignorant. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, all right. So I'm trying to get on your level. Like, yeah. okay, I can see what they're. So when I started un- dealing with sleep paralysis and didn't really understand it, a good way to understand what sleep paralysis is. I suffer from sleep paralysis. Okay, so do you Live. understand what it is? I absolutely know 150%. Well, there's multiple things that it yeah. is. There, that could right. be. There are multiple things, but a good thing scientifically that helped me understand it a little bit more is that it's when your brain wakes up before your body mm-hmm. does. Uh, th- yeah, yeah. That's an easy way to put it. Exactly. Right, you, you never get into what's it called, like REM sleep or like that next level. You just explained rapid eye movement. I'm going to yeah. Wakes up first. Like your brain is awake and you're alert, but your body. But I mean, you yeah, guys aren't you guys aren't sleep paralysis experts. Well, no, I yeah, guess that's no. a good example of what happens in the beginning of waking up too, because you're more aware of your surroundings. You're more aware of what's mm. going on energetically around you, because it's an energetic. So, state. would you say that you, both of you are? Uh, I mean, so you don't do Reiki anymore. Do, mm-hmm. You don't do it why, either. Why does it stop? Well, hold on. Let, I'm let, 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 to it, but I don't. I, I work more with the Norse. The Norse works with room. Okay, the Norse. So and what do you specialize in? I'm sorry, bro. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm, 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 uh, is it tarot card reading? Is it? I mean, okay. So for a long time, I did the Reiki, and then right, I right, right. You card don't do reading. that anymore. So I'm moving more into coaching and spiritual teaching. So when all people right. like, so I want to teach classes on all of this stuff, break somebody everything down. Uh, I'm sorry. Somebody who doesn't understand what you do, right? Mm-hmm. When you say spiritual teaching, mm-hmm. they'd be like, hey, you know what? Jimmy Baker, uh, a preacher, the mm-hmm. reverends, they do spiritual teaching, mm-hmm. I, but it's totally opposite. It's totally yeah. something different. Right. So how, so how do you like, separate well, so yourselves? Like, like for one class would be... Um, Oh, what, like a spirit circle is one thing that I do and it's to teach people how to connect with their intuitive abilities. So everyone comes in and I take people into two journeys and then they come in, they write. What does that mean? Okay, yeah. See, I, <laughs> so, again, right. I, okay, I'm going to take going over for a second about Sure, Because I Go think people that come Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Yeah. So spirit circle is an event that she holds. She guides you through a meditation. Mm-hmm. So what happens All right, so I've, ne- medita- me, myself, I've never meditated. But do you okay. understand what it is? Uh, t- I mean, so meditation is like a state of being of calmness. Okay. And you're breathing, to, right? Has a breathe, lot. I would hope you'd breathe. I think meditation but has a lot of breathing, or am I way I mean, off? Yeah, you got to focus on yeah, your breath. Yeah. You gotta, okay. You gotta, she'll instruct you. Yeah. On what to do, the deep breaths to take, how long to hold it. 
she'll go in and again clean your chakras. So do you know? He doesn't know what chakras are. He doesn't believe in energy. Hold on, did you say the shocker? No, not the shocker. The shocker. So basically, what she does is she she instructs you into a calm meditative state, and then when you're in that meditative state, she work work works you through, walks you through. Apparently, I can't talk. Um, walks you through a journeying meditation. So a journeying meditation will be, think of it as she's like playing a movie for you and instructing right, you. Right, like I'm telling you to go down a path, walk down this. It's, it's a form of hypnosis. Obviously, I would probably understand this a lot better so, if, if, if I did it, right? Right. If, so right. it's hard to articulate, I guess, mm -hmm. um, what you guys do to the, the ignorant guy like me well, we don't work you're with the more ignorant more. guy like you. Wait, 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 wait outside for the person you're with to come on. You have to be more, you, you almost have to to really want to. Exactly, to, you yes. You need to want. You can't you. want something you know nothing about. Then you don't want it. You're yeah, not attracted exactly. to it. Your energy right. your energy just won't, you won't be attracted to, to me. People, yeah. You know that. Just don't want. Well, hey, listen. Look, no, no. You gotta understand. We're on a podcast. I, okay, viewers, like, uh, but I'm not. I mean, I, I, I'm not have, trying to convert people have, here. You know, know what I mean? Well, well, no. But here's the thing. There are a lot of people that don't understand what you're talking about. Don't use the jargon you do. So I mean, like when you're when you're. But you don't understand things, energy field, though. How do you not understand that you have an energy field around well, everything? Every, everybody, even this table has a form of everybody energy. Everybody understands the beer you're drinking. Energy. Oh, that's scientific. Right. Your energetic field. But, but when you're saying energetic field of a person, that's that's a whole. We don't learn that in school. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So that, we don't learn a lot in school that we should know. Right. We don't learn I, I agree with you. you know? I, I, am not, I am not disagreeing with you we in any sense credit? of the word. Do you believe in credit? No, no, no. I, well, I'm, I'm just trying to get Taxes. To, uh, you don't learn about that in school. Exactly. You don't so, learn how to deal with people emotionally in school. On a podcast, you know, it, right you know obviously this is audio, boy. visual, whatever. Mm -hmm. When people are listening to you, if, if they can't relate to what you're saying, they're going to be like, all right, they're full of shit. Yeah, that's Tune fine. Out. That's fine. But well, there are a lot no, of, no, 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 It's fine. But there's a lot of people that are curious about out, you know? this stuff and have had experiences and they have nobody to talk I'm to about it. I'm not asking you to sell yourselves. I'm right. just asking you to explain. That, that's right. it. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, no, it. I'm trying to explain the best that yeah. I can, but you want to know every little bit of information that I don't know how to explain in layman's terms oh, okay. like that. Uh, you know what I mean? Right. You probably have to just experience a lot of it. You really do. You really do. And you have to want it. You have to be open to it. You have, and a lot of people that come in and they're skeptical, it's because they've had spiritual experiences. Like they've seen, they've t like, let's just say they had a dream where they talked to their dead grandmother and it keeps happening. And then they come in the shop and they're like, why does this keep well, happening? You I know? can relate in the sense of, so like, uh, you know, I, I was in the service. A lot of people haven't been in the military. And when I tell them, I'm like, you know what? I know you've seen movies about it. I know you've mm -hmm. probably read about it, whatever. If you go through it, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. Right. But if you haven't gone through it, you, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, you're just yeah. A, kind of an outside. Yeah. And I'm sure it's something similar it's to that. Really like, similar. Until I get reikied or. You have um, a spiritual experience on your own. Okay. You know, right. until I do those things or experience those like things. Like even I'm you have never really going to grasp sleep it. Sleep paralysis is something that. Well, I. Again, I'm I'm open minded, right? And I I want to learn about what you do, and I feel like I am yeah. learning. I don't equate the two though, because there's a scientific explanation about. Well, there's paralysis. there's that my my right. brain is away from my body. Are you body saying so that what they do is non scientific? There are ways um, that people connect it scientifically, but yeah, sure it's not something that I try to do. All, so, you know, well, if I'm you sure really want right. somebody that's very scientific about a lot of this work, uh, look up Joe Dispenza. Well, I don't care because I, I, I don't. But this is for the viewers. Yeah, I don't need Joe to. Dispenza. Look right. Up. Google, you, yes. look, look him up. He is, um, he explains everything on a more scientific basis, like quantum energy, yeah. all of that stuff. I think sometimes that's important, like, because mm -hmm. I'm not very religious you know right. i'm not i don't believe in any religion i, I would consider mm -hmm. myself maybe sometimes spiritual Even, like i believe yeah. there's a how i believe there's a higher power but mm -hmm. you do a, jay does a really good job backing up a lot of his religious beliefs with scientific um like verification almost. yeah I so i can understand the the type of people that need a little bit of both you know like right. you're explaining and some science behind it but to me everything you've talked about so far today requires a belief in it mm -hmm. where with the, the a blind faith is that what you're saying i wouldn't say a blind faith but just like a, 
Yeah, because it's not blind. I believe that everything she told me that she's experienced, I believe that. You know, it's not, it's not really blind to me because I can I can see her. Mm-hmm. You know, but with the sleep paralysis, like I can Google it real quick and say, oh, your brain is awake, your body's not. Mm-hmm. It's simplified to me. Mm-hmm. What you're explaining is a little more intricate. You know, mm-hmm. it's a little more. Um, it's deep. It's very yeah, deep. Yeah. It's deep. I mean, but it's I, on a deeper I can still level. appreciate that. I wanted to ask, and um, I feel like the beer and the weeds hitting me a little bit, and I forgot what I was going to say. But can I you had explain really Norse? Well, so I, <laughs> yeah, could, just in kind of again. Yeah. You don't have to sell yourself. I'm just saying, just kind of for us ignorant motherfuckers. Norse? I've never even heard Norse, the term that's Norse. Just like the spectrum <laughs> of it. Um, right. There's way more layers to that. Um, so I work with runes. Runes are the ancient symbols used within North mythology. So like um, the gods and Odin and all that stuff. Right, right. You know, they all had a, um, an alphabetic system, and that was runes. They're symbols. Uh, they all hold an energy. Um, they all hold different values healing purposes and also how do you apply that to let's say somebody who's suffering or whatever um so i'm about like making spell candles and doing other things so i don't okay again you're using jargon that i i'm not so what is spell candles you gotta think you're talking to like a four i know i don't tell this (laughs) this is the hardest thing i've ever i'm sorry i'm not i'm not trying to put you guys on the spot i'm just Again, what so we're. I work more with we had a North vegan energy. on. She had to explain him what a fucking so, vegetable was. <laughs> it's a, sh- a shamanic way. He doesn't know what shamanism is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know who Jesus Christ is. Yeah, apparently. You don't know what shamanic means? Are you a fucking shaman. kidding me, bro? Do you know what a shaman is? A shaman? You don't know what a shaman, shaman is? Shaman, a medicine man? Oh, medicine. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like a medicine woman in the Norse ways. So kind of like a okay. medicine man, but not quite. So that if I'm, that's a different word for so it, but just I'm not going to say because I know he's going to make a joke. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> if, if somebody's, what does somebody suffer from that you would cure as a medicine she woman? Oh, so I don't, I'm not, I'm not about, I don't, I don't. She's not a healer. She's more of a, like a crafts person right now. So I create tools for you to use on your own. Like magical tools. Yeah. To put on your altar. And then I teach class. Shut up, George. <laughs> Shut up, George. George is giving us that look. I just keep seeing the words, like, trying to process in Jay's head. I'm trying to follow. I really am. You uh, need to just come in the shop one day. He, follow, yeah. he follows uh, it. Don't tell him where he needs to come. There's, there's no chance. All right, so I think I, I have a question that I think a lot, a lot, everybody can kind of relate to because you have to be an absolute douchebag if you don't know what a tarot card reading is. Yeah. Or I've heard that term before. But I, I feel like the, he doesn't know what it is. No, you've heard the term. Oh, of you've course, heard the yeah. term. I've heard the term, but I don't really know what it is. If I were to come, do you do tarot cards? Yeah. Now? If I were to come to you and say, "Hey, I'm Ashley. I'm looking for a tarot card reading." Mm-hmm. What does that entail? Does it talk about my like? Does it predict my future? So everyone or? reads differently. So the way that I read, um, I will kind of look at what's going on in your life and see what you need to work on. I'll look at your life from a different perspective and I'll use the cards and give you some advice with that. And then sometimes we can go into the future because I do healing work with the energy work. I'll see where you have energy blockages in your field. <laughs> no, I can see on her face I, that you're making her laugh. I am not That's doing that. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to follow. I'm really- I know. So, um, I will see what's going on in your energy fields, and it could be even things like from your childhood that are holding you back because everything connects energetically. So, if you're having financial issues, it could relate to your mother in some weird way, and that's how I put it together in the cards and just tell you what. N- now, when you do that, is it <laughs> do, when you flip a card? Do you yeah. know what card is going to show? No. No, so but I sometimes sometimes I know like so what I, I, I'll be reading into that? your energy field and then I'll feel certain energies and then a card will flip that connects with that energy. I'll be like, oh, so OK, so this is confirming for about an hour. Mm-hmm. You haven't once dipped into our energy fields. Just, you haven't touched, she says she dipped a toe. That. Yeah, I know you said that. But mm-hmm. now, like it's now you're here, bro. though. Have you invaded our energy a little bit? Yeah, no, I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can feel a little bit of what's energy. happening here, but yeah. <laughs> of stupidity. <laughs> but like, I feel like your mother and your father. I feel like Jay is never a fucking read moron. <laughs> oh, that's I, I want to know about the the. Shut up. Um, you said you had in 
a paranormal experience. Yeah, a lot of paranormal experiences. When you say when I hear paranormal, and I may not understand the word fully, I think aliens. Yeah. You had an alien oh, yeah. experience. Yeah. Gotta hear. Well, it could girl. be like spirits, ghosts, Please. and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. I want to hear paranormal. Yeah, paranormal. Wow, um, you know that. Damn. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's so, right. So, I mean, you guys better get some beer for this one. So. Challenge accepted. Beer. <laughs> All right. George, I guess no chance. We, tra- we saw how that worked out last time. What do you mean? Um, Go ahead. Just dive right, right so into ever, it. So ever since I was a kid, Give us the synopsis. like a little kid, I, I had like an extreme fear of aliens. And then when I grew into a teenager, I had certain experiences where I was experiencing sleep paralysis. And then it got worse, where I felt like there was energies in my room. And then what happened was one day I literally woke up in my bed and I couldn't move and I saw these beings looking down on me. And um, I tried to... What did they look like? They had the little... Like almond shaped, like, shape, like, big like yeah, grays? Like, 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 yeah, yeah, the grays. Yeah. Yep, like you see. Oh, see, sure. you know. Look at this. <laughs> hey. Um, and so I wasn't sleeping. I knew I wasn't sleeping because I could feel them touching me. And then I felt a slimy thing go down my throat. This is where it gets really weird. So is Jay. <laughs> no. So this is, but this is how this, listen. Spoiler alert. This is, it this was is, my dick. This is gray on top of you. <laughs> Jared's like, oh, I didn't know what to do, so I just... Listen, come on, let me tell my letter. story. I just no, that's not what happened. I noticed, the gray, I noticed the gray had a toe ring. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> oh you guys are fucked up, man. <laughs> you have, like, fucking alien dick going in your throat. It's, that's not up. what it was. If you listen, listen. <laughs> If you listen, <laughs> if you listen to the story, yeah, I will tell you right. why. It was so, really, can you blame us? That was it was a hard one. I know, I know, it was, it was fucked up. <laughs> so, fucking, I I'm felt that, and in. then I completely knocked out, and then I woke up like an hour later in my room, and I was a mess. Like I couldn't even stand up. Like it was just a fucking mess. So I was like, "What the fuck just happened to me? Was I dreaming? I don't know what happened." So, but I felt like I wasn't dreaming because I could feel something touching right, me right, like right. it really felt like this I. this is when you're still sleeping or awake i was awake like i felt like i woke up and i tried to wake like. i couldn't like i couldn't move my arms and then i seen them so this is where the story gets really fucked up so it was like a couple we of, <laughs> no no no, <laughs> no so <laughs> this is like what confirmed it to me like you already blew an alien yeah, i didn't blow an later. alien so <laughs> I was at a horror movie convention with my boyfriend and his friends. Oh, that sounds and I love horror movies. I, I used to, but I don't anymore. So we were driving back in the car, and we were talking about alien movies, and he goes, oh, you never seen Fire in the Sky? I go, no, fuck that. I don't want to watch that movie. movie. Um, heard of it. So he literally said in the movie that they did all this fucked up shit to the guy, and then they stuck this slimy thing down his throat, and then the guy it's supposed knocked. to be like a true story. And then the guy knocked oh, out. I had to fucking freak you out. And I was yeah. like, what? And he goes, yeah, they like stuck yeah. the slimy thing down the guy's throat. And then he just like knocked out. And I go, that was exactly what happened to me. Wow. So, Holy shit. Um, so keep in mind, when I was a kid, I was petrified of aliens. Like I thought they were going to come through. When this happened? Um, probably around 16 or 17. So then I... Was to really right, what's right, to process what was going on. And of course, I'm not going to like go around telling my mom and like, well, I was abducted by aliens, you know what I mean? So then it didn't stop. Um, I, it wasn't that intense where I felt them physically touching me, but I would be in dreams and then so, all... I'm sorry. Yeah. So when you felt them physically touching you... Like this. Is that while you're sleeping? While I was sleeping, oh, yes, feel that? and that's why I woke because, up. And, and because the reason why I'm asking is because mm-hmm. I, I've had tons of dreams that where you felt, felt like people, but it well, was no, no, that where people were touching me. Yeah. But I'm saying that felt absolutely 150 percent real, right, at the time. Okay, but this is what I'm telling you now. The right. rest of the story. Okay. So. Um, I would wake up with marks on my body and things like that, and then there. No, Mark's not a person. No, no, Were Mark is not a person. Oh my God. <laughs> So this is this is where this is where it gets weird, weirder, not weirder, but it it kind of confirms even more. So in my dreams, 
I would be like in my dreams doing whatever. And then all of a sudden the energy would shift in my dreams and I would feel this, um, it was kind of like a go through my whole body. And then I would go, oh no, they're here. It's like and a frequency? Type? It was like a frequency, like an energy use. beam. When and you then, said woo, that's what I thought. Like yeah, just right. Going so in. the dream would stop, like in the dream, a spaceship would show up and I'd be like, oh no, they're here. And then I would try to literally wake up out of sleep and I won't be able to wake up and I feel woo, woo, woo and being lowered back into my bed. And this happened happened to me consecutively for like a couple of years until I started to read about angels and things like that and pray and call on protection and then it stopped. So do you think something really happened to you? It definitely 100% did because when I started Googling like symptoms of alien abduction, like being afraid of your closet, like I was afraid of my closet since I was a kid. Um, there was all like specific things of alien abduction that when I when that thing, the slimy thing happened, um, and then the kid said that, I That's started Googling online about alien abduction and the symptoms, and a lot of it I couldn't connect it to. What do you say to the person, again, I, I, that says, you know what, hey, look, anytime anybody's sick about, you know, anything, whether mm -hmm. sniffles, cold, weird dreams, mm -hmm. they always run to Google, mm -hmm. and they diagnose themselves mm -hmm. based off of you know they call them mm. you know everybody calls them google doctors mm. WebMD, yeah them. you know just like i mean i don't know i mean nobody was in my position and would have had felt what i felt during those right. times right you know google was the only way to turn it, it was the only what am i gonna who the, the fuck, fuck am i gonna go to talk to you know like and it was literally there'd be times where i'd be like wake up in the middle of the night and I wouldn't be in a dream state and I could hear things walking around in my room and I wouldn't open my eyes. Something that, that's throwing me off a bit is that, that that happened and it was very real for you. But when you, you started to pray on mm -hmm. it, it stopped. Yeah, because that, okay, so that's... It's almost like saying that whatever you, whoever or whatever you prayed to is stronger than them. Yeah, like yeah, they are. Trump the Okay, so that's that's that. why I that's like honestly right now I'm moving into teaching more people more about these galactic energies and who they are and so I started studying the species and the energy that they carry after all that stuff happened and the species there's all different species of aliens. It's not just greys and reptilians. And then there's there's like palladians that look like us. Like they literally have the blonde hair and the blue eyes and they look like us. Well, you have neither of those, so don't say us. Hmm? Oh, okay. Is, well, I'm is saying. like that look like us with blonde <laughs> hair? She's is there yeah. any they red They look, hair? they're humanoid aliens. Let me ask you a aliens. question. Because humanoid you say you, you, you mm -hmm. study it. Mm -hmm. Is there any tangible proof? There's no it? tangible proof. I mean, there's people that have had similar stories to me or there's people that have had um, contact with these beings. That's what I tell people when I teach about this. I'm like, there is no factual like energy you're not be like all right here's a exactly a reptilian, right or, there's no factual energy about the et is et stuff like there's more factual energy about witchcraft and magic because it's actually more tangible than anything that has to do with extraterrestrial but there's that so doesn't many mean it's not true exactly there's so many people that have experiences with these beings that to me, it's actually factual, but it's, the government and science does not want to back it, and there's a reason behind that. Yeah. So do you I'm believe in the that. ancient aliens type stories? I do believe in ancient aliens, but I think that that show is more for entertainment, so even with somebody that understands... And not You don't believe in the fact, I guess, what they propose? I believe in some past, of it, most of it, yeah, I, but I feel like sometimes I watch, watch the show. Oh, I believe that the aliens built the pyramids 100%. I believe that. Anunnaki, some of the, they call yeah. the things are... are are so incredible and right they 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 were built with tools that in that like that that time period mm -hmm. that to exist it then mm -hmm. would be so far from the fucking realms of possibility that you can almost you what, what else can you attest it to you know right where, where thousands of years ago if somebody on this side of the world is drawing hieroglyphics of some weird fucking ship, mm -hmm. you know, calling down, exactly. summoning somebody. So that was another somebody, thing, yeah. Those two people could never, never have communicated. Contact. I was an art history major for a long time in college. Well, not a long oh, time. Six. I did it for like two years and then I quit because I was like, what the fuck am I going to do with this? But the main reason why I wanted so to study. Like, so I got yeah. into magic. Yeah. No, no oh, I, I was a real estate agent. I was a rapper. I was an Can art you history major. spit a hot six? No, I haven't. I haven't spit anything in years. Palms are sweaty. Um, These weak. Um, <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> so, but I want to get back to what you were talking about with yes, me praying. You. Stop interrupting us, motherfucker. With the what? prayer? She's praying. I feel like that's important for people to know. I don't give a fuck what you believe in. So, l- let me ask you this. Let me so, just explain this first. And okay, then, go ahead. Shut up, bro. Because you keep it. sidetracking me. I'm I trying to get to questions. good points. I know. So, with the prayer, right? This is so important because people do not understand this. And this is the problem with paranormal activity is that you do not need you. You hold the energetic boundary in your field. Nothing should be able to enter your field without permission. Nothing should be able to enter your house without permission. That's what people don't understand. So this is what I learned with doing a lot of this work is that no, You do not have to get abducted by aliens. That is something where you put a boundary up. You say no, and then you call in the higher spirits, the more advanced beings. The beings that I called in were in the angelic realm. So they're more advanced than these gray aliens. I called them in, and they basically pushed them out. So a lot of times when people have paranormal activity happening, a lot of times sometimes it's attached to the land, and that's the hardest to get rid of because if the spirit has a contract with the land you have to go into you have to work with the people that actually own the land to remove it form like a haunted house exactly well sometimes houses are haunted because spirits just they're not ready to cross over um but you do have control over your energy field and what enters it and that's what people really need to know people don't understand that when we talk about in terms of like people that are energetic vampires you can be around a really shitty person but it doesn't mean that you have to hold their energy or take their energy in that's what i teach people how to do i teach people how to be in power in their energetic field so for someone like you it would be hard for me to teach you because you don't even believe in your energy fields because you're fucking stupid <laughs> you're not stupid you're just not no. open to that concept right now well i wouldn't say that, that that's mm-hmm. that's that'd be stretching it I, it's not that i'm not open it's just that mm-hmm. i'm ignorant Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, there's a difference between not being open to something and just not knowing about mm-hmm. it. Well, what's being beautiful curious. about what you teach, too, and, and her, the point is that it seems like one of those things where, listen, if you don't believe, it's never going to work. Yeah. And if you do believe, mm-hmm. it can't not work. So, you know like, what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like, if I believe that my energy is not letting you in and you're not affecting me, ultimately, I'm, I'm programming my brain. Just like the same way you would type something in a computer. Right. I'm programming my brain not to be affected by whatever you're, you're doing. Well, incidentally enough, you know? I mean, and, and very, again, parallel to what you're saying. So I, I'll go back to scripture, something that mm-hmm. I, I'm very comfortable mm-hmm. talking about. Scripture even says that faith is the proof of things not seen. Mm-hmm. So, and that's what you're saying. Unless you... Right. Unless I don't, you I don't have, believe in the term um, seeing is believing. I actually, right. yeah. unless you have faith in something, right. you'll never believe in it. Right. So it's almost kind of like you know that's what, that's kind of like what you're saying. Like, I honestly believe. believe it, I I, I think believing is seeing. Like once you begin to believe in something and you open up to it, you're actually going to begin to see it. But it, like with me with the ET stuff. It was just it, like it was happening to me since a very, very young age. And even when I learned about what I was actually doing, like I now know since I was about five years old that I was astral traveling. Like I was leaving my body at night and going to different dimensions. And I thought God, that I that was. sounds fucking lit. Yeah. And I, I thought that I was that. like having nightmares and like slam back into my body and, you know, start screaming at night. And now that I know how to astral travel, I'm like, oh, this is what I was doing. Jess, do you have these same experiences? When you say you know how to astral travel, Jess and Ashley, what does that mean? You know how to astral travel. What is astral traveling and how do I do it? Lucid dreaming. Mm. Astral travel is like a higher level of that. It's like you do it without being in sleep state. How do I do that? So I wouldn't recommend you doing yeah, that right like, now because what? that because no because you need to, you need to get you need to get familiar with your energy field yeah. before you start astral how do you traveling. Do that? How do you how do you uh, like I something my like Listen, no my field is fine. no? Do you know what a chakra is? Yeah. Yeah, what it's is like it? Two in the pink, one in the stink. <laughs> no. Oh, All right, no. Man. <laughs> the, the, the you know, tra- listen, because if you if you, if you do, leave your body that's intentionally true. and you're you're not you're not on that high vibrational state where your your energy field is on right. guard, where you're carrying a lot of something can enter your body. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, you have what? To be protected like an alien, you start blowing an alien. So. Yeah. 
What would what? Some, oh, really? <laughs> you, 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 All right, you could, could, start, you, you could start blowing an alien. I don't know. You know, it something can enter your body and so, attach you, to you. Have you ever seen Insidious? Yes. That's a very good example of astral travel. He's leaving. I've never seen body. that movie. Yeah, Wait, what is that movie about? Uh, I can't. I thought it was about like some like a virus that. No. Oh, no. No, oh, no, no. Never mind. You've seen it, though. Yes. Okay. So There's like four of them. You haven't seen any of them? I, I've, after the first one, I will no. never watch any of the other ones. Really? Because I actually actual travel. It scares me. I just started watching uh, Stranger Things. Understandable. So. Not you or He her. leaves his body to go find his son because his son hasn't entered back into his body. They think he's in a coma. He's not there. Mm. And these beings are trying to come in and go into his vessel, his body. Right? In that movie? Yeah, all right. So that's so. a good example of not understanding what you're yeah. doing and not being protected enough to do it. So what's my first step? The father in the movie didn't do it for so long you, yeah. because he was scared and like just shut it all off. If that makes sense. But I'm not scared. I'm not, I've, yeah, I've, but you shouldn't jump into it. He said, shit, I ain't scared. <laughs> I ain't scared no ghost. <laughs> no. So what, what would be like if, because again, I told you how interested I was Meditating in like more. lucid Meditating. dreaming. Meditating. Med- Getting more control I've meditated. over that. No, you yeah, haven't. Like, no, 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 I have. So okay. it's connected to yoga? Yoga? I don't do it regularly. No, no. Wow. not at all. I don't Is do it yoga regularly. about meditating? Mm, not really. Not Western it's, yoga. It's, it's, yeah, not Western, you Eastern bitch. No, no, no shit. But, well, so, well, like the I way the yoga in America yeah. is more about the physical practice. Yeah. Like stretching your muscles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's not, not what really I heard. I heard yoga. Well, actually no, there is meditation. there is there's different forms of yoga. Honestly, I don't really know a lot about yoga. I'm not How a yoga. Do you ast- is it astrally travel? Yeah. Am I saying that correctly? Well, yeah. I did last night. Yeah. How well, often? It's so weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> Were you I drunk? Really <laughs> no, I don't drink. No, I'm just kidding. Now, do you, do you not drink or smoke because you don't ever want to alter your yeah. sense of, like... I used, to, I used to smoke, like, seven blunts a day, yeah. and when I started doing this work, it was just like, yeah. I don't want to smoke. Like, and it wasn't you like... You almost get to where you need to without... Exactly, exactly. yeah. yeah. Are you exactly. sure you don't want to spit a hot 16? No. Um, <laughs> I, w- I don't want to move from this... And I keep fucking up the word astral travel. Mm-hmm. You say I'm not ready to do that, and I accept that because you're you're an expert. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm just like I see the cool shit. And I'm like I want to do that. Mm. Yeah. Well, always everyone always wants to jump to the cool shit without so doing the work said, before doing that's the cool like stuff. Lucid dreaming, but to the next level. Right. How? Times what a, a when you when you travel, like what is that? Uh, Paint that picture for me. I want oh to, God. I'm not again, like you said. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, because I'm not skeptical of it. Mm. I'm I'm. Curious, and I'm it literally to do feels it. It like feel your like body you gets really moron. small and your head gets really big, and then that's how it feels in the physical. Shit, I'm aspect. always asking. And traveling. then you begin to my big ass head. And then you just begin to go into different dimensions like you begin to see different things. Like when I did that Reiki with Lanan, I was astral traveling at that point. So what would I have to do to get ready for that? Like, well, how do I? You have to do the work. You have to practice. What you work? have to get there. Um, so maybe attending one of her spirit circles will get you used to meditating in a sense. It, you might not be able to meditate on your own. Like I always like couldn't sit still. Couldn't well, what is it. meditating? I feel like I've, I've meditated. I mean, I well, think explain I what you did when you were meditating. Yeah. I sat in a quiet room. Mm-hmm. I didn't do anything. And I just... I didn't do anything? I didn't do anything, bro. Just, and you just cleared your I mind? Inhaled, like, oh, and I exhaled, and I exhaled, and I didn't think shit. about anything. Okay, yeah, no, that's yeah. that's like a basic form of meditation. And then there's meditation... What is meditating on, in your... Oh, your, I do all... I'll do what he does sometimes. Yeah. Like, some yeah. days I just need that. I'll literally yeah. stare at the wall and just and breathe like, and I, I release... I almost felt like I was... Energy like, from my head. You guys like Indian style. I don't know. I don't do that shit. Want, no. I did however no. I was Yeah, yeah. I laid on the chase, you know? Yeah. And I just felt like I wanted to take... My, my family, my job, whatever yep. my life was about and just like take a, a, a painting and make it white again, you know, yep. make, it, make the canvas yeah. blank, like start, here's the day, nothing happened. Yeah. Like nothing at all happened. Everything is, is it, crisp, fresh. The more you practice it, the more you get into that meditative mm-hmm. state. Like I'll be, so she'll be holding meditation and I'll start yawning and I'm like starting to drift off like before she even begins because I'm so used to her guiding people into meditation. Mm. Like I'm comfortable with the way How long have done. you guys known each other? Like uh, you guys best friends type thing yeah, or just business yeah, over partners? Over 10 or? years. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe more. All right. Yeah. So you guys have probably have this really deep connection. It's a trust. Oh, yeah. It's a trust too. So like I trust, like I only really care for her to heal me when I get healings. Right. It's just... Can you go to somebody else to get healed? I mean, I can. can so yeah. I'm like an extreme empathic person and I feel things. He doesn't know what an empath is. Yeah, I'm sure. 
<laughs> well, you feel what everybody else feels. Feel things on another level, like beyond. You don't know what like, empath is. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you, so you don't know what the word empath, empathy means. <laughs> I get very uneasy when other people enter my energy field. So I have to have an actual trust. Well, that's, that's why a lot of people come to me, because they trust me. How does somebody enter your... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we need to get Jay into one of your circles, like the beginning. Yeah. No, we don't. Like, child fuck no, I, the I child like if you have a How calendar that says, your energy okay, field? Reiki, well, five years I mean, what you two are doing right now, you're in each other's energy fields. Yeah. We're on energy. Well, it, is yeah. it, it's not a proximity thing. It's it's a so, so like an aura. Right? It's you not know a what an aura location, is, right? You know what an aura is. Oh, like yeah. If somebody's sitting next it's to you, energy. they're in the your energy. But field. I mean, how far does it go out? It okay, so it depends. This yeah. is okay. This is a good question. Yeah. So people that have um, a lower vibrational field, their energy field doesn't go out that far. And people that have a higher vibration, it can go up to like twenty feet. Is that like a positive negative type or yeah. Josh vibrates? 30 feet minimum. <laughs> what? <laughs> but how, what do you, how do you measure that? How do you, how do you how measure do you determine, that? Well, how do you determine? Hey, just, where are you I'm, coming from, bro? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't understand. I'm, I don't understand either. <laughs> I, I'm just, I guess, so I like, guess the more you everybody, it. so everybody has an energy field, yes. right? Correct? Yeah. Is that safe to say? Yes. yes. How do you know how far? I don't know extends. how far there's other okay, people's I, are, you know? I don't know. I'm, but that it's just the more that you open up your perspective, the more that you open up your, your field, the more light that you can maintain and hold in your body, and then it just expands. We need to go to one of these introduction courses. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta I feel like I need an artist to draw this stuff for me. Yeah. I feel like people would understand it. If I, I mean, I could imagine. It's very yeah. hard to articulate, obviously. Yeah. Um, I mean, when you're, when you're talking about aura, I'm thinking of like, you know, just... An, like, <laughs> I guess a field around. Yeah, Almost yeah, like that's what it is. Field, like yes, the earth yes. Type thing. Yeah, like yeah. the earth. How the earth energy flows like this. Your body does the same thing right. from the core. But, but uh, again, you know, uh, coming from a place of ignorance, mm -hmm. I would say, all right, how do I know if mine's like this or like this or mm -hmm. like way the fuck out there or like right here or I just kind of like. You know, uh, or I'm photography. Asian, so I mean, it's like um, probably right? like this. Aura photography is a good aspect. <laughs> yeah. What's aura, I empathically what's aura photography? feel it sometimes. Aura, aura photography, photography is when Please. they take a picture of your aura and you can see what colors, colors are in it and how bright, big I and bright it is. I literally had some chick at a bar tell me one day. I didn't even know who she mm -hmm. was. Some stranger. She was like, "Your aura is red." I'm like, "What?" No, sometimes that means anger. Yeah. Yeah. That actually makes sense to me. It you, is you sense. Or it means that angry. you could be really I'm grounded. About to but chew I feel this like with you, yeah. it would be anger. <laughs> yeah. I'm angry, dude. I'm angry, so, dude. Or a photography. Is there. She's going to try to find a picture. Like an app? How do you. Um, I'm not really sure how it works. We have a woman um, that comes in yeah, and she, she does it. She has a machine because it used to be done by a camera, but they actually don't make that. Uh, I'm going to be honest because uh, you talked to me anymore? now for a little bit. Like, I'm not. Okay, I don't dismiss go. anything. But if you tell so, me that she just uses the same phone as no, you, no, 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 it measures essential. your frequency. Like so you put your hand on these little, of my, my energy field at the time. That looks like picture. a cat skin to me. It's a good example. And then the picture. Ultimately, I guess that's kind of what a cat skin is, is it fucking so energy, takes a picture so of your how did you. How did you get that picture? How, the lady that, Colleen, that does the aura photography. You took a picture of, okay. The computer is in front of That's not a Snapchat filter or anything like that? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you know what? You guys don't get offended about me asking these questions, do you? No. Okay. I mean that's I would be that's we'll not offend that's not a, that's too dumb to be offended by. That was such a silly I'm telling question. you, Why? read I, like, can, people, can really you do me a favor and please read Joe Dispenza or go you look him up? Homework. Yeah. Sure. I mean I, like I said, right. I, I'm not Hold not on. I'm not close minded if to he it. Reads I'm just that, ignorant. If he reads that and agrees mm -hmm. to take his time reading that, will you come back yeah. and read his energy? Because right now you energy. have a lot of red hostile energy. They said. I, I they said you know, an angry if I'm sitting dumbass. in front of the people that are trying to articulate what it is, why read the book? I got you guys right in front of me. You can no, answer the because questions. Joe Dispenza explains it way better, and he's yeah. more scientific. So what, okay. If he if he were to walk into your shop, right, mm -hmm. Jay, and he wanted to learn more about it, but Se literally Second Amendment, bro, more shoot him in the face. Anybody, but yeah. he said he wanted to take like, what's the first thing that he should do? Spirit circle. 
Spirit Circle. Can we go to a Spirit Circle? Field trip. Next week. 100%. When's the next Spirit Circle? Next Wednesday. Will you let us in? Can we? Is there openings? Yeah. Or? Yeah, there's there openings. openings. Yeah. She won't let me in because can you can't be you can't, can't you can't like, you can't be drinking and smoking before either. Yeah, you can't I can't smoke before. Them. No. Okay, I'll go after. sober. Is it like kind of like a? Well, is it, is it, like afterwards, I know I can do whatever. Is the circle kind of like you know like a, like a dance circle. off? No, it's not a. It's right. not. You won't, I won't bring him. <laughs> I won't bring him. But I'm. I'm just like, no, don't bring it. <laughs> no, but I, I definitely do. Do you okay. record it or no? No, we don't record it. <laughs> no, so I couldn't record it. No. No, you will take a no. journal and you'll write down what you t- you get. Yeah. Oh, that's recording. Yeah. That's a form of Jay recording. And let me record it. He, I don't think it would ever work with Jay because I think he's going in too close. I don't mean this. I think that you overthink you're think everything. You're, you're you, know, you have you're a very not. analytical mind, and I can understand why you don't understand what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Well, I, you know, it's. I guess it's not necessarily that I. I don't. I mean, it's not. I, I don't understand what you're saying. It's just that I'm trying to break it down to a. The very basic. I know, and and, and and with this work, sometimes you can't do that. It's not basic. It's not meant for dummies, bro. Like you have. I'm not a basic bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I want Reiki for dummies, <laughs> or like. <laughs> there actually, no, sorry, there no, might no. be. I wonder if there is a Reiki for dummies. I'm sure Can we Google that. Everything for dummies. <laughs> George, that's actually why I said George. It's spelled R I E K I. I only relate it in my mind to the things that I'm very familiar right, with. Right, I understand. And I, and I, I'm a very spiritual person myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe in a God. I, I read scripture. I actually, I study scripture. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not very big on religions, man-made religions. Yeah. Um, but in the sense, like when you're talking, when both of you are talking, I can understand. The spiritual sense, like when, you know, when you're saying stuff like, oh, you know, if you do this, X, Y, and Z, this will happen, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Scripture says the same thing. Scripture talks about angels, talks mm-hmm. about demons, talks about mm-hmm. um, all these supernatural, paranormal things. So, I mean, yeah. it's... No um, to me, it's it's not necessarily foreign. It's just I'm really trying to understand. Well, you want you the scientific from, from explanation pers- of everything. From your perspective. But that's what I'm saying. So, Scripture's not very... Uh, tangible scientific right. either even though it can be mm-hmm. but um, you know so like when people ask me oh yeah you believe in a god okay yeah spaghetti monster and blah 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 blah. well I can literally because I believe in it I can articulate yeah. I, I can articulate my beliefs I can articulate my logic I can articulate why I believe in something and how I feel about it and that's what I'm just trying to extract you're, from you're you guys you're passionate about that not necessarily passionate is that I had to prove it myself. Is I'm, I don't I don't blindly believe in anything. Well, I don't blindly believe either. I mean, I've had no, no, these paranormal that about experiences you. when I was a me. kid. So it right, was right, like, no, no, no. Don't I, I don't take that the there's, wrong. There's a big difference between understanding something and um, proving it be, to you, being able, or even feeling the need to articulate. I think it that you need to experience else. a lot of things in order to understand them. Right. Especially I, I feel, with what I, I do, do you know? I feel that way firmly about parenthood. Mm-hmm. You know, anytime somebody tries to talk to me about what they would or wouldn't do yeah. in a situation, I really believe that until you're actually right. a yeah. parent, you you just don't under you're you're not emotionally right. connected the same way that an, uh, a parent is to that situation. I, I, mean, I, it's just like the guy with you know in Fire in the Sky mm, that movie. Yeah. I mean, obviously everybody thought that guy was nuts, but I mean, if you're that guy, yeah. I mean, right. it's kind of sense. straightforward and black and white right. like this. This oh, happened to me, yeah. so I mean, whatever. What you're saying makes sense. Because at a time in my life, t- 10 years ago or 20 years ago, however, before said event happened to me, if you tried to talk to me about something paranormal or ghosts or spirits, mm-hmm. I'd be like, hey, you watch too many movies. Like, no, yeah. no shit, Matt. It's not real. Right. And then, I, you know, I dealt with something. I experienced something. And now you can never tell me otherwise. Hey, Bridget. You can never tell me otherwise. Right. You know, because I've experienced it. But is that a form of just saying seeing is believing? Because I guess I didn't believe it until mm-hmm. I saw it myself, you know. And, mm. Well, you know what? Let's take the conversation a step further. When you know, seeing is believing. I think. Well, number one, that, I think that saying's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Well, seeing um, is. I, I mean, if you see it, you believe it. But there are you don't ton- have to see it. Maybe it's feeling here's is what the believing. Thing is, <laughs> we interact with the world through our five senses, right? So if no, we, we don't. Well, we have more. Okay, right. All right. That, I, I agree with you. I know where you're going. I, I know where you're going. But I, let's just say we're taught the five senses, right? feel whatever whatever they are our senses obviously can be deceived Mm -hmm. but that doesn't necessarily mean just because our senses are meaning you can smell something that smells like a strawberry but it's not actually a strawberry Mm -hmm. so our 
our perception could obviously be altered. Meaning we don't know the full truth. We well, only know what we yeah. interact with. Well, then when you really go deep into conspiracies and aliens, that's that's the main point of it is that we're totally in the matrix. Like we are literally walking around with blindfolds on. Like we cannot see half the stuff that is actually around us. See, that, me personally, I don't believe in aliens. I don't believe in the traditional sense of aliens, mm-hmm. meaning uh, I don't believe in greys. I don't believe mm-hmm. in whatever and mm-hmm. I, I don't take that the wrong way yeah no that's I'm not, fine i'm not yeah you know uh, what's the word I'm do you for? believe in interdimensional beings but well here's here's the strange thing so i i believe in i believe in angels and i believe in demons and i believe so you believe in inter- interdimensional beings and in that sense i believe in interdimensional beings aliens and are, i believe in aliens aliens are i don't in, believe in aliens are grays. interdimensional right but gray, grays are interdimensional, too. Exactly. So then you you, you, you just... the fuck out of me, Jay. You just, you just you said that you don't believe in them, but you believe in interdimensional believe in the, beings. In the, in the traditional oh, so you don't believe they definition. how they're depicted to look? Is that what you're sort of like God. I, I, you know, I believe in God. I don't believe in the God Well, that there's all different species of ETs. Anywhere other than Earth? Well, you talking about cellular life? By a lot, you know, or are you talking about just a, like a being life? From... Anywhere other than Earth, any kind of life. Well, if if I believe in Scripture, then I have to believe in other life forms. Okay. So you, you do believe in aliens? Yes, but not the traditional. What's the traditional so? Okay, sense. so what? I don't believe in the almond eye shape. Why? Just because uh, that, that I just, just sounds like a look thing. You don't believe they look like that? What, what are you saying? <laughs> I, I don't believe in the depiction. Yes, I, I, just okay. like I don't believe in the depiction of Jesus. So what do you Christ. think they look like? I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, no they idea. can look like anything. I mean, an alien can look like yeah. a fucking. There's, the, there's, you know, there's like over like a hundred different kinds of grays too. Is there? Oh no, oh, yeah. I, I didn't know that. No, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. But, well, I guess what uh, uh, along my train, my personal yeah. train of thought, you know, like she was like, hey, what does God look like? And mm. they show some white guy with an aquiline yeah. nose, long hair, and he's in white, and he's floating mm. around like a fruitcake. I don't, I don't believe in that. Mm. I don't believe that's what he looks like. Um. I believe he's a big, strong black man. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, actually, uh, well, I mean, if you really want to get into that conversation, which I don't really want to, but it, scripture actually tells us what what, what God looks like. But um, I, I don't believe in the in the common, you know, alien, uh, I guess. Is it, is it, is it too yeah. mainstream for you? I'm in the Martian. Um, I'm not sure. I just, it's weird because when you ask for, you know, do you believe in interdimensional Mm -hmm. beings? Well, yeah, I do. I believe in angels and I believe in demons Mm -hmm. and I believe in. I don't believe believe that angels look like the way that they're depicted either. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I mean, they're not all white. Yeah. I mean, some people, some people that believe in angels believe that they look like serpents. Yeah, some people would yeah. do, even the the depiction of, of Lucifer mm. or Satan. Yeah, you know that's not the way Scripture describes mm. it. But, I mean, that's a whole that's a whole different conversation. Right. So, anyway. That's actually a great conversation. Mm-hmm. Put it this way: I, what you guys do is is so is really fucked up. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> fucked up so. I'm gonna say a lot of words right. I'm gonna say a lot of words right now because I'm not very um, smart versed on. Mm-hmm. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Fuck terminology it. of it. Terminal. You're the terminology. The terminology is tough. Your vocabulary is limited because you're yeah, Spanish. There are so many adjectives I don't even understand. But what you do is is unique. It's strange. It's weird. It's mm-hmm. magical. Mm-hmm. It's freaky. Like there, there's so many things that I can use to describe it. But I don't write any of it off. Yeah. And and I I feel like I would really love to, you know whether it's a month from now whenever we can do it again. There's so mm-hmm. many more questions that I have. And yeah. I definitely. You guys back. But I, you know, it's. I feel like we're we're trailing off now. He's talking about white Jesus and all yeah, that yeah. shit. So let, let's wrap it up. But mm-hmm. I, I do really thank you guys so much. Thank actually, you for having for me, coming. and yeah. Jess. Where's the shot? Where's um, little shout out? It's uh, 176 Main <laughs> Street in East Greenwich. That's where the and that's Ascension NXT. NXT. Yep. We're only open one day a week, but we do events and classes and things. That's why right. the store is can, closed, yeah. Can people find you on Facebook? You Facebook like- is the best place, Ascension NXT Facebook. Um, and that's where I do a lot of my live videos. Like, I do the weekly readings and all that stuff. So I'm actually moving a lot of the content. As, like, I'm doing a lot more online because I have so many people that follow me online. And I can do a lot of this work over the internet. So Yeah, just with people fit like, like uh, yep. FaceTime or mm-hmm. something like that. Yep, so we're moving a lot of it online, and then there's a lot of in-person events as well. Cool. 
So that's where people can find you. Yep. Um, Ascension NXT on Facebook. Yep. And that's it. Do you have anything yeah. else you want to add? Anywhere else? No. All right. Well, hey, thanks again for coming. Thank you and, for uh, having us. Fun, guys. Thanks for listening. <laughs>